What's going on guys, Zfreezone here and we're back with another map build. Uh, this one's more of a PvP map build. Uh, it is for, for trolling people as you can see it right there. The one on the right we've done before so if you want to see that have a look in the link in the description below. But let's get right into this um, PvP one. Alright so let's have a look at this uh, map room here. Uh, there is um, some boxes hidden inside this room. Uh, if you go and check out the build, which will be straight after this, I'll walk through a build, we'll show you where the boxes are. But definitely worth checking out, it's a good little hiding spot for any house really. Uh, but as you can see, the public can come up to you and use the map room, no problem there. Uh, but with yourself, because it's yours, you'll be able to come down here and actually enter the map room. There's dancers on each side, you can see doors on each side as well. So it's all symmetrical, looking good. But when you come in here, as you can see, there's multiple doors to get in. They're probably better off not blowing through the doors, but they don't know that. So that's always a bonus to you. But we'll get through these doors here. And there's another three doors here. And then you're inside the map room here. So as you can see, we're inside the map room. You can see people on top. We can shoot them as well. That's no problem. I uh, don't know where he's running off to, but you can shoot people straight through the map room. Uh, if we shoot this building over here, as you can see it will hit fine. But yeah, that is the basic build. Obviously you can set it up a bit better for yourself. Uh, but once you see people on the map room, you can shoot them right in the buttocks and they can't do nothing about it. Uh, I don't think you can shoot through this bit. Nope. Oh, yes yeah, she can. Well, there you go. But yeah, it's pretty good just to troll a couple of people if you want. Um, they probably will blow this place up as soon as you do start trolling people. But in saying that, it is pretty fun and it's not many materials. If you've got the spare materials, why not chuck it into something like this and just have a little fun. But you, as you can see, you can run, run straight up the map room and grab the loot and go back under. But yeah, make sure you stick around for the build because it'll be like more of a tutorial build this one, not a speed build. And um, yeah, check out, make sure you look out for those boxes that are hidden inside there. Because it is a pretty good hiding spot um, where to hide boxes, you can pretty much do it anywhere. So make sure you check that out. But if you don't go that far, I'm Z Free Zone and I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to get started with a circle, like we always do with map rooms. And then you're going to get squares and you're going to come out with squares like here. And make sure you stick around too because I'll show you a neat little trick to do with um, chest to hide the chest in a base or wherever you do pretty much. But yeah, we're going to try and get this circle out now. So all you need to do is put squares on the edge of these triangles here. Once you've made a little triangle circle in the middle, you just add your squares to the sides here. And then the rest is pretty much triangles. I'm going to delete that, so here, as you can see, it's gone up a bit, so if you haven't got flat ground, it's a good time for you to show you guys how to deal with that. Uh, so we just come out like that. And then you can always delete those, the ones you don't want. So there is what we need, and now we just need two triangle foundations here. And as you can see, you can just fill it out weird triangles here nothing too mad about it but we're pretty much going to do that to all different sides so bear with me So we've done it to all the other sides, we've just got this one to go here and this is the one that's going to be a little bit more of a pain because it goes uphill. But as you can see it's no problem. We can just come up like that and go around. And that is fine, put one there. And then from here we can go down and come back out this way. Keep going with that one. And that's going to be the border there, so we're good there. And we'll fill this guy in 
around here as well. Right, so that's filled in as much as we can. And now we're going to run a around the edge here. We're going to lift it up one. I'll get rid of these guys. Might even lift it up two. We'll see how we go. Depends how much room you want under this mat room. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much up to you guys. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to run around and make this outside border higher. Alright, so that's our outside bit. Uh, from there on, we're going to put down. Well, we need to decide if we're going to go higher or not. On this build, we might go higher. But this is how high you actually need it. You don't need it any higher than this. And if you were, you can. Um, if you want to put it over this side, you can put your doors here to come underneath. Uh, let's see if we got those doorways, which we don't. So we get it from our magical menu here. Which is so handy. And we grab that one. And we go back to the magical menu and grab the doors. Bang bang. And then we can put the roof on here as well. So there's our doors there and we need a couple more exits. So we might might just do all four because um, it'll make it look symmetric and it looks pretty good. So let's do all four here. So let's go around here. Then there, see if you can see what I did then. We don't have a foundation under this, so I had to put the roof tile there. Then the roof tile supported the doors. Probably only that one you need to do that too, but just keep that in mind. So put some doors there as well. Take out this one, put some doors there. Yep. Take out this guy. Put some more doors down. And there we go, so you can see there's doors all over this place. It's pretty good because this is going to be a PvP build, so people camping your place is not going to be anything new. So make sure you keep that in mind, and you got the multiple exits to escape from. So I do like that. We're going to keep that, and now we're going to close all these guys up. There we go. Alright, so it's nice and sealed in. Uh, in the middle here, we are going to have to do this temporary. It's going to be temporary because I've got plans for the middle here. Uh, we've got temporary bits in the middle so we can actually place the map room on something. And we are actually going to do a few more as well. So I'm going to snap to it. There it goes. Alright, so that's that. Now, yeah, I'm definitely going to go two levels on this, so bear with me and we'll smash out another two levels.
Alright, so there you go. I've just went around the outside basically twice and extended it up twice. So that's going to be our basis there. And on two of these sides, you need to have this pattern here a square and then a triangle piece, just like that. And then go to the opposite side and do the same. So, just here, we are going to do the roof tile and then triangle piece. And that is enough to hold the mat room these two sides that middle bit does not need to be there so we can take that down afterwards uh, but what we're going to do now we're going to come over here behind this guy and we are going to place down some more foundations here just so we've got the point to place the mat room down on it's always good to get nice and high when you're placing mat rooms down because you can see what you're doing with it uh, so we'll just make it up here Right, so we'll grab our mat room we'll have a look here looks like we need to come in one more which is good anyway because that will double the doors up so let's get down there so to do this we're going to simply just come around and we're going to come up twice on all these triangle pieces down here as you can see there now the walls are getting double thick so if you do troll enough people on here they're going to start blowing up this will give you a little bit more time to get out of there and because you live under a mat room like a troll you can actually jump on the mat room pretty fast and get out of there with all the gear that all the gear that you've pinched why people have been trying to rage up or oh, i don't know about pinch they kind of bring the gear to you that's what you want you don't want to go chasing people get for gear you want them to come bring it to your house so this is a little bit Good little trick here to get people to bring you gear is to piss them off with Shattered Springs or hide under a mat room, get their gear and then run home with it. So we're going to come over here to Now you could always just um, come across here and put roof tiles so you got more room underneath but I kind of want the double layered here so we're going to go with this double layered foundations just gives you more time to react to what, pe to what people are doing which is always good and next move alright so there we go that's our two layers except for these straights over here so what we're going to do there is go down with some doors again we're going to magical menu grab some doors and let's go put some doors around on these guys so they've got three doors they have to blow up to get in which is nice and i probably would even suggest to like um maybe take a couple of these doors out just have one door on the outside but just have it as a false entrance so that actually they can't get in there it's just a, a door and then a foundation right behind the door just to trip them up a bit when they're blowing in and again give you more time all right so we're going to put a roof foundation there and a foundation on top again a roof foundation with a foundation on top Foundation, foundation, keep going around, doing that. And try and make it as solid as we can. And we'll do that as well. Alright, so all that's done, so that is ready for the mat room, I would say. So let's climb up on our little lookout here. Then we can drop a mat room down on there. So here we go, the mat room. As you can see, it's taken it quite nicely, but we don't have our little pointers on there. Without these pointers, the the inside of when I break this down on the middle, it will just the mat room will collapse. So we need these two little pointers in there. We can't get about these pointers. All right, there we go. Now climb back on our perch. And then we'll drop the mat room down where we want it. 
Alright, so I'm looking at the map room here. And if you look uh, just to the left of me, I'm trying to go against that straight edge just along there. And then the others kind of line up. You can tell when the map room's off. If it was rotated like that, you can't match it up very well. Just because it's that one off. But when it's like this, you can. It's usually like two clicks, three clicks, and you're in the right spot. So yeah, you can turn it around as much as you want, but you just want to try and match it up with those lines. And there is a certain spot in the map room which works a little bit better. Bang bang. There's our map room there. Now let's get rid of all those little bits and pieces that we've just put down too fast and missed. And we'll get rid of our little perch here as well. And there's that. Now we'll just run around and check, make sure we've got nothing else here. We look like we're good so let's go into our little troll spot all right so as you can see you can see the map room quite clearly you can see all the odd points Get rid of that guy. all the odd points uh, if people were taking the orb or they're using the map room it's all quite clear here uh, we do need to put those doors down so let's uh, put those down we want that three layers of protection now this is a really, um, this is just a map room to troll people, like, <laughs> I don't recommend that you will be hated on the server pretty fast, but that uh, gives some good laughs out of it, that's for sure. So anyway, we've taken out the middle support, and now you can see we can see a uh, hell of a lot. So we are in a real good spot here, just to shoot up at people and do as much damage and all that as we want. Uh, to climb it, you should be able to just climb through the map room and pop out where you want and take it. So that's fine there. That works perfectly good. You can have stairs like um, the, the previous map room that we built. Uh, link in the description. But yeah, make sure you check that one out. Uh, let's have a look at putting down some stairs in this in. Uh, where are these going to go? And I'll let me link to these. Probably not. But I guess you can just use it like that and get ready and then you go. Uh, you can't use the orbs through the map room. As you can see there you have to come through and then hit the orb. But you'll be able to see if you've got enough time to do so. Probably just poke your head through a little too and bang, take the orb. But that is the basis of that build. And really, all we need to do now is jazz the outside up and make it look a little bit more fancy so people want to use your map room. And then if we come inside too, I promised you guys um, a way to hide your chest. Um, this is going to be it in here. So we get our chest. And you see these uh, triangles in the middle, you want to put down as many chests as we can in this triangle. So let's start here, let's go around in a circle here. And as you can see we can put quite a few chests here. There we go. Keep going around. Right, there's a nice little circle of chests there. And now you want to find another spot where you can put chest down, just keep building it up. Why not? Let's try it over here. Oh, seen a spot. Put it down. And there's another one. Now you can always rotate them too. Really doesn't matter how you put them down. I do like um, chests placed on top of each other nicely, but in this case, it's want to try to hide the chest as much as we can first. So that's what we are focusing on. I didn't see it flash then. Oh, there it is. You just look for that little flash, and when you see that, you know you've got a point. You just need to find it like that again. Where'd you go? Right there. Let's jump up here and try and get one down here. Yeah, I doubt we're going to get one but But you never know. Oh, see the flash? Oh, oh, there it is there. 
Alright, so once you put down as many chests as you can inside that little circle that's in the middle of the floor, you grab your triangle pieces again and you just cover them up. Honestly, it's like, <laughs> it's, um, it's a bit ridiculous this works, but it does work. Uh, get rid of that guy. And if you can't put one down in there like that, it's probably just one interfering with it. So let's change building pieces and yeah, there's no chests in the room. So there you go, that's um, how you hide chests inside triangle foundations um, and how you be a troll under the map room as well. Um, I'm going to run around now and jazz this up a bit. You've probably already seen the finished build at the start of the video. So yeah, if you want to see this build over here, make sure you check out the link in the description. And I'm C3 Zone. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you hit the like button if you did. Make sure you subscribe for the next map tutorial or any other tutorial that I pull out of the hat. These are trope bases here that I put together. If you haven't seen that, they are some really fantastic trope. If you've got the maps to build it, definitely the way to go. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Enjoy, guys.